Hey there ladies and gentlemen and welcome back. I'm your host Patsan and today we're gonna be taking a look at r slash cheating stories where OP's cheating ex-girlfriend now heavily regrets opening the relationship. Let's begin. My girlfriend asked for an open relationship after cheating. She got it, but now she wants to close it again. Posted by Reddit user LeastAd6878. Well, I'm a long time lurker, but now I think I'm a part of a club that any of us wanted to be. Sorry for poor English, throw away for secrecy. My girlfriend and I are both 23, been together for 4 years at this point, and had a pretty good relationship, or so I thought. I'm on college and working part-time so I can pay the bills. She does this too but we do not live together. I'm a very romantic guy, so every time we were together, I was all over her, kissing, hugging, that's my love language and she did it too. But a few weeks ago she started pulling away from me, stopped initiating. Etc. I knew what was up, I've read enough stories from here to know what was coming my way. I started to pull away as well, and drop simple hints that I knew something, but did not confront her, didn't touch her either for that entire week. I think that did the trick because at the end of the week she confessed, but of course with much gaslighting, but weirdly she did not blame shift anything drops out that she has been going on random dates for two weeks at that point. She already had like five of them. She said the whole I want to explore thing. And I just agreed. I knew this was over, but didn't want her to explode at that point by ending things. So I just played along. She proposed an open relationship with some rules, like not sleeping over, no more than one or two dates with the same person and not sleeping with friends. And I agreed. I'm a kinda good-looking guy, I'm not very pretty, but I take care of myself. That has been enough for having some flirt from girls in college or form work, so I knew I would have a bunch of dates without dropping a sweat. She is a pretty girl, so she had her share too, but when I was at her place and had a date that night, she would just stare at me while I dressed up. And I knew she was jealous, but I just couldn't give a shit. We barely had sex and the affection I gave her before did not exist anymore. She has grown a little depressed over the course of three weeks and last night she asked to close up the relationship, and I couldn't hold it, so I blasted out laughing, and told her no. She was the one that wanted to keep a relationship and didn't lift a single finger to work for it, so then I didn't give a damn about it too, I just ended things right there and then, and gone out for my date. Today she is blowing up my phone asking for forgiveness, and to be back together, I didn't respond, but she has gone as far as give me a hall pass for sleeping around. Now I'm here, writing this stuff trying to think why, but I don't think I'll find out. Thanks for hearing my vent. TLDR. My girlfriend asked for an open relationship after cheating. I agreed. But now that I had a bunch of dates, she wants to close it so I broke up with her. Opening the relationship usually doesn't fix it. I mean the distrust is already there. She fucked up and she knew it. It's her problem, not yours. And I'm 100% sure on this. She had feelings for one of her fuck buddies, but he left her. So now she wants to settle down with her plan B. Unfortunately for her, you're not an idiot, so you didn't fall for her crap. I'm so proud of you, man. And now, for OP's update. Hey guys, I posted here like two months ago about my ex-girlfriend that confessed cheating on me with a bunch of random dates because she wanted to be free, but still loved me. My posted was removed, so I will give you a little bit of context. I may repost it on my own profile if you guys want to check it out. Long story short when she confessed, asked for an open relationship to explore, I said sure. Why not and had my bunch of dates but still fooling her that we were still on a relationship. She had been just demoted to friend with benefits and didn't knew. After three weeks of seeing me go on dates, she got depressed and asked to close the relationship again, so I broke up with her. Now for the update. It's now Christmas afternoon here, and her family has just passed by and greeted me, thanking me for being a good son-in-law for them for the last year, and apologized for their daughter's behavior. That caught me off guard, because I didn't think that my ex would tell them the truth about the nature of our breakup, especially with the fact that they hadn't contacted me in any way over those two months that had passed. This is the fact that triggered me to update on my situation. About my situation with my ex. Now there is none. It has been a little bit more than a month with no contact, and I'm very happy with that. We maintained a little bit of contact, but not the normal one I must say lol. She was stalking me on my socials, leaving creepy responses on other girls' comments with random accounts. Every time I blocked one, she created other two. How did I know it was her? She told me while chasing me. She camped outside my house on a weekend day waiting for me to come out and ambushing me into talking to her again. When I opened my garage to start working on my bike, she just jumped right in and tried hugging me. It's pretty pathetic, 
but I started running around my house with her after me trying to catch me to do God knows what. I was able to call the police and got to hide inside my house again. My garage was still open though, so she kicked my bike down and screwed it up a little bit. Soon the cops arrived and got her arrested. She resisted, which caused to worsen her situation. I testified and they let me go. She got admitted on a mental facility for some issues she already had, but hasn't treated correctly, and mostly because of the psychotic breakdown she was having at the moment. I don't really know how she got that obsessed with me. We hadn't talked since I blocked her in the day of the post I made. But being now in no contact for that long again is giving me hope that this shicho is about to end my friends. I got now a restraining order and I hope to never see her again in my life. Thanks for the support you guys gave me on my other post. I didn't get to answer everyone, but I read it all. Again, thank you. TLDR, my crazy cheating ex-girlfriend stalked me and got admitted into a mental facility. God damn, that is a lot of drama in such a short amount of time. She went from 0 to 100 real quick. Clearly OP, you were better off without her in your life. She overestimated her value and she underestimated yours. The reality of what she has done has finally set in. <laughs> what a complete moron. People should only be allowed in your life because you want them to be in it, never because you need them. Good job, OP. And now, for today's second story. My girlfriend was laying on the couch and I saw a sent photo on her screen. Posted by Reddit user throw our a big oops. Hello all, this just happened about an hour ago so I'm trying to see if my thinking is in the right place. After supper tonight, my girlfriend of 4.5 years was having a nap on the couch. So I went to squeeze in a little Xbox before bed. Got off about 45 minutes later, and she was awake on the couch. I came over to sit down beside her and saw a sent photo, a selfie of her curled up on the couch in a conversation, looked to be Instagram and I said offhand that's a good angle can I see it. She locked the screen and said I was just trying to take one, and I said well, I saw you take one and send it let's see it. Now I'm at about a 2 on the controlling scale, I have never asked to see her phone, never have any problems with any of her socializing etc. She never has an issue letting me use her phone to look or anything, she said no you can't see it. I said what do you mean? I just want to see the pic, and she got up to go to the bathroom and start doing laundry. I walked up to her and said you realize this is a massive red flag, and she said I don't know what you want me to say, why would you think I would cheat on you? I replied I never said anything about cheating, I just want to see the picture, and the way you're behaving right now is extremely concerning. You've never had an issue with me doing any single thing on or with your phone or your laptop, and now you won't even open up your phone at all. She said can you please just leave me alone so I can go shower. I replied so you won't let me see what the picture was. And she said no. Now this is all well within her rights, but she has never acted like this whatsoever. There's never been any significant issues, few small things here and there of course, between us. She does have quite a few male friends but it's nothing I get jealous over. Once she was done in the shower, she went straight to bed and I went in and said this is a very serious thing for me. If you want to deal with this right now we can but otherwise this will destroy our relationship for me. And there's a very good chance we will not be together by the time next month's rent is due. And she just said I don't know what you want me to say, I didn't do anything wrong, so I took my pillow and I am on the couch now. I've had issues in the past with exes cheating on me, and she knows this. That's why it's been great that I've not had a reason to worry until this. Just a completely different person during that discussion, and I have a very bad feeling in my gut and not sure what to do. Edit. She texted, yes texted, me from the bedroom. Saying was just in the bathroom for one minute looking at my back on my phone. I didn't want you to make fun of me for looking at my back. This has literally zero to do with what happened and seems like she has a completely terrible excuse and timeline of events. I've texted a few friends to see if I can arrange something since things, barring a progressive discussion tomorrow, are not looking good. Update. For everyone messaging me about an update, here it is. I went into work and told my boss we ran into some possible issues the night before, and I felt like I needed to go home to address them, so I did. I went home and we hashed it out. She didn't delete the messages, and showed me. It was just as she said. She said she sort of freaked out as she felt I was just coming at her with cheating accusations. She used to have an emotionally abusive boyfriend, I've known this from the start, so she just sort of went in lockdown mode. I believe her, I've had no reason to think she would lie to me. During this conversation other issues that we have with one another in the relationship came out, and we hashed those out too. Overall we both have a lot of work to do on ourselves and for us as a couple. As for where the looking at my back part came in, she was in the bathroom just before everything happened I guess, taking pictures of her back. She showed me said pictures, 
and she brought up why would you think I'm cheating during the altercation as she thought I knew she was in there, and that I thought she was sending nudes. For everyone messaging and replying saying how controlling and insecure I am, I get how this post came across that way but it's just not true. I've never asked to see any conversations, snaps, direct messages, etc. in any way other than a what's so and so up to. I don't control who she talks to, where she goes, who she hangs out with, nothing of that sort. It's just not me. Frankly I don't really care, since she's coming home at the end of the night to me. But when you're with someone for 4.5 years, living together for 3, you know what normal behavior is and what abnormal behavior is, and this was definitely abnormal. I'm sure a good portion will just think get a load of this guy, but you're all entitled to your opinion. Like I said earlier, we both have things to work on, and that includes I guess trying to mentally get over the baggage we both have from previous relationships. All in all, the messages were nothing to worry about. I overreacted because of the strange behavior she showed due to a previous relationship, and we were both able to bring up things we'd like the other to work on. Perhaps I'm a fool and just got swindled, but as of right now I have no reason to believe there is any suspect shit going on. I wouldn't budge on this issue, personally. The fact that she brought up cheating on her own makes me highly suspicious, plus all of the other odd behaviors. I would never let this one go if I were you. She didn't even have to show you the picture or her phone, just an explanation. I've taken bad pictures of myself that I wouldn't want anyone to see, but I would have been comfortable telling them that. It could have been any reason she didn't want to share her phone with you, but the point is, she didn't give you any reason at all. Clearly she was flustered. Clearly she fucked up by bringing up cheating and the more you clarified that this was an important matter to you, the more she dug in her heels without actually hearing you or addressing your concerns. OP, I think your instincts are 100% correct on this one. And you my friend, you just got gaslighted into believing you're the crazy one. Viewer support is the best way for me to remain independent and continue bringing you these daily videos which will always be here on my YouTube channel for you to watch absolutely free. So consider clicking that super thanks just below the video title or you can use my PayPal in the description box down below. Thanks for listening everyone. If you even somewhat enjoyed today's story, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and if you really like it, make sure to subscribe to Patson to never miss a future upload. Stay strong.